Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to get input from the text files. In the previous video, we would have seen how to uh, output to the text file. That means how to write the uh, input data from the keyboard to the text file. Now here you are going to see after storing the uh, data in the text file, how to retrieve it and then print it on the screen. So here also we have some steps, you have to follow these steps. To read from the text file, you need to follow these steps. Make sure the file you are planning to read from exists on the disk, otherwise an exception will be thrown. That is, uh, if you are going to retrieve some file, make sure that file is available. That means you have to first create the file, store the data into it, and then uh, find the, then uh, second, uh, second, uh, second thing you can uh, retrieve it from the uh, files okay so you make sure that the file is uh, exist file exists otherwise it throws an exception so step one is create a file reader stream type object as per the following syntax so previously we saw uh, we saw file writer here you are going to use file reader stream object name equal to new file reader then the file name so it should be the existing file example file reader fr equal to new file reader names dot text so names dot text is the file which is existing on the disk okay on the hard disk uh, if not it will throw an exception the file reader object creates an input stream using the default uh, encoding scheme we already discussed about it uh, unicode is the encoding scheme used by java so uh, the file reader uses the byte code that is unicode Step 2, link the file reader object that you create just now with the buffer reader object as per the following syntax. So you can see buffer reader stream object name equal to new buffer reader then inside that file reader object. So the same like the previous video where you, you connected linked all the uh, objects. Here also you are going to connect the object only thing is you are going to connect the uh, file reader object into buffer reader. So buffer reader br equal to new buffer reader uh, fr fr is the file reader object the buffer reader object creates a buffer for the stream created with the file reader that means it will create a buffer where it will uh, retrieve whatever data you retrieve from the file will be stored in the uh, buffer that is the temporary memory step 3 now you can read the text uh, using read line from this buffer reader object and store it into a string object so here you can see uh, the input statement used is read line because you are using uh, uh, input or uh, output stream that is uh, java dot uh, io stream uh, is been used so since you are using io class right io package you have to uh, input uh, you input the text using uh, read line okay this is the input statement which is used so br dot read read line is the input statement which will store the uh, text into or word into the text that is a, a string object okay string uh, variable buffer reader object creates a buffer for the stream created with file reader so yeah, as we discussed it will create a uh, buffer so that whatever uh, data has been read it will be stored in the temporary memory now step four when you use uh, read line with the buffer reader if no more data is found a null is returned check this using the following that means uh, you may create five uh, the previous video we saw an example of uh, creating five names okay storing into the file now after that uh, we also uh, saw how to append the uh, names that means uh, you can add on the names into the file so once you add on names into the file you may not know how many names are available in the file so you cannot execute exactly you don't know the number of lines available so best thing is you have to check for null because uh, when it reaches the end of the file it returns a null value if it is not checked then it will throw an exception so here in while loop okay this line should be used text equal to br dot read line not equal to null okay so this line is very important to uh, use uh, to be used in the while loop because once this condition is false it will come out of the loop that means uh, until the data in the file is not null uh, it will keep on execute once it becomes null it stops execution and comes out of the loop so we'll discuss it in the program 
but make sure not to include br dot read line in in the body of the loop okay not inside the body it should be in the uh, condition statement itself otherwise two lines will be read but only uh, one would be processed so if you use read line inside the while loop uh, it will uh, execute twice okay uh, that means you may get a null value next again uh, it will read another uh, line which you don't have any value so there will be an exception then there is a problem in reading the file so use it in the uh, while statement itself now finally and step 5 is once you are through close all the uh, file all right or whatever object you created just close it so if you cl uh, close the uh, latest object the remaining object will be closed so buffer reader object dot close okay so here you can see uh, example is br dot close is the last statement now you can see an example program okay as usual the first line is import java dot io dot asterisk so this will include the uh, java dot io package and all the files under the java dot io package will, will be included in the file and then you got a class name input text and a public static void main uh, string argues you should use this uh, line that is uh, throws io exception the reason is if there is a uh, there may be a possibility of getting input and output exception if it is so then it will be uh, caught and it will be thrown to the uh, compiler so the compiler will handle that exception now you can see the first line in public static void main is buffered reader br equal to new buffered reader within bracket new file reader and within bracket names.txt so it is instead of writing in two lines we are written in the single line itself and make sure that names.txt has been available in the disk otherwise it will go it will throw an error then you are having an string variable okay text which will uh, which is used to get the names from the file and store it into the variable then you are going to uh, have an counter int i equal to 0 okay so that you are going to count how many uh, text is available okay how many words are available and also it is used to display it on the screen okay so the number of uh, names can be displayed on the screen so I'm de I have declared an integer variable i equal to 0 now in while loop you can see text equal to okay that's a statement inside text equal to br dot read line not equal to null now what happens here you got lot of uh, uh, operators available first operator you can see is equal to operator that is the assignment operator you know as per the precedence of operation operators it will execute last so here you got the second operator that is not equal to operator so that will be executed first so within the bracket what is there is text equal to br dot read line so it will uh, get the input from the file once it get the input from the file immediately it will check whether it is equal it, whether it is equal to null if it is not equal to null then it will store the data into the text uh, variable okay if it is equal to null automatically this line will be false it comes out of the loop right so once the first name is read it will be stored in text now inside the loop you can see i plus plus because we started with zero so i plus plus and the system out print name and i that is the message you are going to display uh, so you are using the print statement so that the next line also will be displayed in the same line immediately you can use uh, system out print ln text so whatever data you retrieved from the file which is stored in text will be displayed on the screen once all the data are retrieved once the last data is read it becomes null okay so once the while and then it will stop the while loop it comes out of it and then it will close the uh, object br and then it it will uh, close the program that is stop the program now immediately we will uh, see an terminal window which will display the uh, message like this so name one equal to raise because you are given the message and the counter values so according to the number of names it keeps on increasing right so the here only you are going to show uh, show the output on the screen okay so if suppose if they ask you to input a uh, say if I have uh, 10 names and then some marks and then display it on the screen the end you have to do both you have to create a file text file store it into this text file and then retrieve it from the text file and display it on the screen so the whole process has to be done whenever a question is asked like that so hope you understood this video uh, we will meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you.